What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. In this video, we're gonna look at some chains and more specifically, we're gonna look at the most popular chain of all time on www.jacoji.com and that is the two and a half millimeter rope chain. So I'm gonna put some on and talk about them more in depth. Let's get started. But first, we gotta look at today's shipments. We have the four millimeter rope chain, two millimeter rope chain, the two and a half millimeter rope chain, two and a half millimeter white gold rope chain, same thing. We have the two and a half millimeter rose gold, the nice two millimeter mariner, a massive eight millimeter rope chain bracelet, six millimeter Miami Cuban link, a 3.5 millimeter white gold rope chain, one and a half millimeter Franco, one and a half millimeter rose gold rope chain a two and a half millimeter rope chain, one and a half millimeter Figaro chain, and then last but not least, an eight millimeter Miami Cuban link. So someone out there that's looking for a nice big bracelet, there's both eight millimeter sizes. You always, or I talk about the rope chains, they have more thickness just because of the design of the rope than the Miami Cuban link, even though um, both kind of relatively the same weight. There you go. So when you go with the rope, doesn't matter the chain, bracelet, what it is, expect that thickness, as you can see, just because of the links, the circles, and then the Cuban's more flat, but um, it does have some thickness to it. So both nice bracelets, both of these, the eight millimeters. So Brandon, why make a video on the two and a half millimeter rope chain? Why is that size the most popular? Why is it good? Why am I taking the time to talk about it? Well, just check this out. This is why. Now, I got them all layered, the tri-colored look. I have white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, the 26 inch, 24 inch, and then the 22 inch, just like that. Now, I often refer, it's not the price of your chain, it's not the value, it's not the appraisal, it is how you wear your chains. Now, you could stack a few of these smaller two and a half millimeters, two millimeters, three millimeters, whatever the millimeter is, and eventually wear it like this. And it's important for you guys, especially if you're starting out. Now, I don't know everyone who goes on the website and looks at the two and a half. I don't know who purchases them. I just ship them out. But I assume it's someone that's relatively new to wearing jewelry. They watch the videos and they want kind of a safe bet. The two and a half millimeters are around $500, depending on the length you go with. So it is expensive, that's a lot. That's a new PlayStation, Xbox, um, a month's worth of Chipotle for me. So it's a lot of money to put into something um, of this size. They're not the biggest chains, but the great thing about this size is one, the price when you're comparing to a, like a five millimeter or six millimeter. And the other thing is, this is one of the things, if you watch my videos, you have to plan your purchases. The great thing about this is you could wear it. Check me out, if I just saved and over six months bought three of these, then I could easily wear this, or I could take one away and two chain it and have that nice classic two chain rope look. Or the best thing is add a pendant to it later. I think two and a half millimeter is more than enough to add a pendant. Now my my cardinal rule, and I'll make another video about this, get talking more detail, is your chain should be about half this, the, the weight of a pendant. So with you could throw the line on there, that's about 25 grams, um, and it'll be just fine. So you could put a relatively big pendant on this. So you buy the chain first, and then six months, a year, whenever you're ready, you buy a pendant to go along with it, and you put them together, and you could wear them together, you could wear them separate. But that is a great thing about the two and a half. It's nothing too small where, uh, you know, an average size one and one quarter, one, one half pendant will look too big on, but it'll fit it right. So going with this with the price wise and also the look, you guys see here, I'm not going to just talk about it. I'll show you is a very nice wig and I'm a bigger, I'm a bigger guy and they look great on me. Granted, I have three of them on and these are perfect because if I'm gonna wear chains, if I'm gonna make my videos, they gotta be right and I got the tricolor, which I am crazy about right now. Everything on me right now has to be tricolor. So I love this look right here. For me, I would buy it if I was just buying jewelry and rock it proudly. So at the end of the day, just like anything else, it's all about personal preference. I have people that wouldn't even look at the two and a half millimeter and then there's other that love it and it is the most popular chain that I sell the two and a half millimeter rope chain by far 
beats out anything else as far as sales as far as even just people looking at it on the website when they go browse around for chains so there's a huge market and i agree with that i'm not you guys got to remember i sell per gram so if i sell 100 grams that week then that's the profit i make or if i sell 500 grams then you know so I, it's not like i'm on here saying oh you know buy big chains that's what you need that's what you have to have anything smaller you are too big for it no i've been really realistic about it if it was me starting out or if it was me just trying to get some gold i would definitely consider the two and a half millimeter because i do think it's a great fit again i'm a bigger guy and I feel like I could rock the two and a half millimeter just as good as I could rock my five and a half millimeter flat curves. As long as you just plan it and wear it right, that's what it's all about. And that's what I am here for. So I got you guys. That's it for today's video and we will see you on our next jewelry video.